Hey guys, the Superview Show for another episode of Rock Talk. This is the show where I break down albums that, whether to have anniversaries or the albums are just that good, you should listen to them no matter what. And here is today, we're going to be talking about ACDC's 1990 album, The Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge, look at the cover first and foremost, let me show you this cover. This cover is awesome. I love it. It's a fantastic album from start to finish. It brought ACDC back from... Not doing so well to doing incredibly well again in the 1990s. It was not grunge, and I'll get to that in a second. But look, ACDC, a little bit of background for you. ACDC towards the end of the 80s, the whole decade really, since Back in Black, and for those, to some extent for those about to rock, were struggling a little bit throughout uh, the 80s with like, uh, they tried to make more albums, they tried to make more like, they tried to have more success, but they really could not hit the same stride with like albums like Fly on the Wall or uh, Blow Up Your Video. Like These albums were not commercially successful. I mean, they're still touring like crazy and they're still doing, still doing live shows, performing their 70s and early 80s material. But when this album came out, it re-solidified them as kings of rock. And they, in the midst of like grunge and alternative rock taking over, ACDC triumphed with an anthem called Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck is the first song on this album. And I have this is not an original LP passing. This is just a a, re, re, a reprint of the LP, but with such songs like Thunderstruck, I'll get to that in a second. Fire your guns, money talks. Come on, come on, listen to the money talk. The Razor's Edge, a great title track. Mistress for Christmas, their only hard rock Christmas song I could think of, outside of Weezer. Uh, Rock Your Heart Out, great songs. Are You Ready? Got You By The Balls, Shot Of Love, Let's Make It, Goodbye and Good Riddance to Bad Luck and If You Dare. Obviously, if we were doing career retrospectives and we were talking about this album, I would say that the first side of this album is fantastic. No doubt about it, the first side of this LP with Thunderstruck, Fire Your Guns, and Money Talks alone, and Razor's Edge, Mistress for Christmas. Side 1 holds more value than Side 2, truthfully. But... There are great songs on here. Got You By The Balls, Are You Ready, and Let's Make It All. Th- this whole album is great. It's from start to finish. It's a masterpiece of ACDC. And what the story goes is that they got a guy by the name of Bruce Fairburn, who was known for Bon Jovi and Aerosmith, who wanted to take ACDC back to the forefront. So what happened was, it's like 1989 or 1990. They were getting ready to make this album. And they got the producer, Bruce Fairburn. Bruce Fairburn, he died apparently a little, a little while ago. Um, may he rest in peace. He was a great producer. He produced Slippery and Wet by Bon Jovi, New Jersey by Bon Jovi, a couple of Aerosmith albums like Pump. Uh, he did a lot of great work. But he understood how to get a song from a really good rock song into a mass market song, and he did that with Thunderstruck. There are moments on Thunderstruck that are so different from a lot of other ACDC songs, mm-hmm. and that makes them, like, and truly makes them stand out at the time when grunge was being launched, and, like, you know, with Nirvana and Pearl Jam, and, like, other, 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 like, Alice in Chains or Soundgarden were taking over. ACDC hit a huge hit with Thunderstruck, a massive success with that song, which launched this album back to the top, and it re-solidified them as a live act to go see with Thunderstruck. However, that is the only song they'll play off this album from as far as I know. I have not seen ACDC live. It's a very damn shame that I have not seen this album, seen this band live. I want to when they when they tour. Um, I understand they're very loud. I haven't because my dad saw them, whatever. But like Thunderstruck and uh, I'm surprised Money Talks was a big hit on the Hot 100 and they have not played that song since that tour. Even the Razor's Edge for a, minute, a little while, you know? It's kind of sad that they have not played a lot of these songs off this album. Like, like Money Talks, I would love to hear Money Talks live. I would love to hear the Razor's Edge live. And truth be told, this is a different sounding record for ACDC. I mean, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Their, their sounds in the 70s and, and, and into Back and Black and For Those About to Rock are still great sounding records. They are still great. This was a little bit on the different side. They had to mess with their sound a little bit to sound a little bit more like clean, if you will. Like if you listen to a whole lot of Rosie, if you listen to Back in Black, the guitar sound sounds very similar. This is on if you listen to Thunderstruck or Money Talks, the guitar sounds a little bit more clean than the production quality on Whole Lot of Rosie on um uh, let's say like let let there be rock. Let let's say highway to hell. Like there's different sounds on the guitar on this record, and that and this album they really changed their sound a little bit, 
and it worked out in their favor. I mean, they still knocked that out of the park with this record. It's a fantastic record. Um, everyone mainly knows them for Thunderstruck, but if you listen to this album from start to finish, which I have, it still sounds, it still sounds sonically great. It's a fantastic record. Have I said that enough yet? I know, it's crazy. But like, aside from Thunderstruck and Money Talks, Razor's Edge is a great song. Uh, Rock Your Heart Out, Got You By The Balls is another good one. Mischief For Christmas is a great one. You know, there's really, really good songs on this record. And this lineup of ACDC was great too with Angus Young, Malcolm Young, rep Malcolm Young, we miss you, Brian Johnson, Cliff Williams on bass, and Chris Slade on drums. Chris Slade, I think, is now in the back of the band, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong about that. Um, but anyways, this album is great. It is sa- sonically amazing. Thunderstruck might be the greatest album opener of all time. Like, I know we talked about that on Career Retrospective, but I think Thunderstruck might hold that for a lot of people, truthfully. I mean, there are so many other great album openers like American Idiot from Green Day or Bruce Springsteen's Thunder Road or like, the, or just like in general songs that launch the album that may, that get you hooked like that. Like Boston's, I think, I think more than a feeling open up Boston's album or like, you know, there's so or introduction by Chicago or the Where the Streets Have No Name by from the Joshua Tree by U2. There are so many other great albums that have great openers, but th- I would say this is definitely up there for one of them for sure. Um, I love this album it's from start to finish. Right, let's show, let's show the album cover one more time. It's that good of a record, guys. I mean, Thunderstruck, Fire Your Guns, Money Talks, The Razor's Edge. This was the album that brought people back into ACDC's fold, and I love it. The album cover is fantastic, though, with The Razor's Edge actually cutting the paper or whatever. It's fantastic. Sonically, it's great. Um, Bruce Fairburn nailed this recording, and a bunch of ACDC to have a stiff upper lip and ball breaker in the next, later in the 90s. They went on to do other things well, such as Black Ice, and on their most recent album, Power Up, was great, too. Um... But this one still stands the test of time as a, as a classic rock or hard rock staple. And I, they stuck to their classic rock roots and they rocked us all. Um, but ACDC, if you're listening to me, play Money Talks on your next tour, please. <laughs> it's a great song. Or The Race of Dredge, one of the two. Uh, or both. Um, anyways, are you an ACDC fan? Jump down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on this record. Have you seen ACDC live? Because I have not. I've yet to live that. I'm an ACDC virgin. I get it. But like... I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Jump down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on this record. And I'd love to see what you guys have to say about this as well. Like the video, share this video, and subscribe as well. But for all of your rock talk videos, keep locked on the Super Show. The J-Man is off to rock. Thunderstruck.